Hi, today I wanted to discuss a quote by famous traditionalist writer G.K. Chesterton, which in my opinion shows how the traditionalism brittled the civilization and society around it in a manner the same was usurped by liberalism and eventually progressivism and feminism. One of the weakest points of traditionalists is that they try to envision a nearly perfect society as an ideal, just like communists that does not exist and can never exist. The difference is that the society of traditionalists is not against the natural order, but there is something above nature and its order, and that is reason. A man's capacity to reason is what separates himself from the nature and allows him to even take first step in direction of any spirituality, for it allows him to decipher right from wrong. Without that, a man does both good and bad, as his heart tells him, and may not be considered different than a robot, programmed to achieve certain objectives, and thus in effect, build the desires for attainment of those objectives. If we were all run as nature orders us, we would not be having this discussion, and we would not care about any course of society, including anti-traditionalism, except in a sense of viewing it all as a power struggle, just like the communists. However, that is not the case. Before that quote under discussion, let us go to another quote by Chesterton on reason and the heart in the first part of the video to understand this view. Chesterton wrote in an essay on Charles II, the king of the United England, that is England, Scotland and Ireland after restoration of the monarchy. Reason is always a kind of brute force. Those who appeal to the head rather than the heart, however pallid and polite, are necessarily men of violence. This quote comes in context of Chesterton criticizing Puritans and Puritanism and makes sense but conveys a wrong meaning. Surely if one had to force someone to agree to some truth against the desire that the person has, he has to be violent, at least in a sense of verbal aggression. While through appealing one's emotions, one may lead him to truth, but the second way will always be more incidental than the first. Because the second way always leads to an incidental truth, it offers a short-term bliss. For those who walk on that way too much will find themselves having drifted away from reason so much that they cannot decipher even the most basic truths from the lies, which is kind of frighteningly similar to the modern West. This shows that traditionalism was not merely prey to liberalism. It was a force that birthed it by first admonishing reason for short-lived pleasure of emotions creating a way for liberals to eventually appropriate it and then water it and continues to do so by believing it to be the cause of their woes. Just like a man who somehow ends up hating the same intellect that makes him realize the adultery of his wife and he ends up wishing for the time when he was happily ignorant of that. The fight against the reason has no end for there is no depth to willful ignorance and no way to come out of it except for by the very same force which makes one hate it, except for by the very same violent force which makes one hate it. In the second part, we will show how this relates to the quote in the discussion. Till then, goodbye.